Now, a unique shop has popped up in Cape Town this month. The boutique offers clothing from top South African designers. But you can't use money to buy the latest fashions. Instead, you need to become an organ donor. The first cashless fashion boutique in the world opened its doors in Cape Town. Stocked with items and accessories from 25 top South African designers, the pop-up boutique is attracting the fashion conscious with big hearts. To leave the store with an item, customers must first register as organ donors. Currently in South Africa, 4,200 people are waiting for life-saving organs in South Africa. And less than 300 will actually get an organ and live. The rest will unfortunately may not make next year or the year after that. We get people that wait up to seven or eight years, so it's, it's really a desperate situation. 20-year-old Kristen Simpson is at risk of end-stage renal failure. To stay alive, she needs three hours of dialysis at a time, three times a week. The mother of an eight-year-old was diagnosed with nephritic syndrome when she was a teenager, a disease that prevents her kidneys from functioning properly. She is on the organ donor transplant list and has been waiting for a kidney for over two years. She believes that if there were more awareness about becoming an organ donor, more people would be willing to help. The first thing to do is educate yourself about it. And, you know, it doesn't mean you have to give your kidneys now. <laughs> you can just... anything can happen. Any, anything can happen and you, your one body can save seven lives. The Organ Donor Foundation hopes to increase the list of donors to half a million, less than 1% of the population, over the next five years. The Foundation hopes to increase the list of organ donors to half a million, about 1% of the population, over the next five years. And the boutique will remain open until all the clothing and accessories have been exchanged.